Radio Cairo. What's going on? It's life. And that's the road. Life on the road. Hello everybody over there and welcome to a new edition of Life on the Road brought to you by the European Service of Radio Cairo on FM 95.4. Today, I'm pleased to brief you on important features of new edition of India by the Nile Festival 2019. This year's program includes Bollywood dance workshop, classical dance troupe, Recital of Indian Classical Music, Indian Modern Music Band. This year's program also includes Yoga Show, Food Cuisine Festival, retrospective of Indian film shows besides Indian renowned puppet show. The festival show's schedule is organized in other two governorates besides Cairo. I'm honored to host His Excellency Mr. Rahwal Kwali Shirais, Indian Ambassador to Egypt. The seventh edition of India by the Nile will present vibrant, colorful and diverse facets of rich Indian culture and will celebrate the historical and civilizational bonds between the people of India and Egypt. IBN or India by the Nile 2019 introduces the legendary percussionist Vidwan Vikku along with his exceptionally gifted sons and grandson and they will enchant audiences with music spanning over decades. Renowned folk singer Harpreet Singh will present the richness of India's folk music and also the Sufi connections between India and Egypt. After a very long time, Odissi, a classical dance, dance form of India, will be showcased. The festival, of course, would be incomplete without the Bollywood workshop, Indian films, Indian food festival, and a workshop on yoga. Seminars on business and tourism are also included in the India by the Nile festival. His Excellency, the Indian Ambassador to Egypt, has briefed us on important features of new edition of India by the Nile Festival 2019. My most favorite things of Egypt are strolling in the streets, uh, walking along the Nile, and a Faluka ride. I also enjoy Egyptian food. Khushri and the Tamiya sandwich are my favorites. Something that I'm not able to do often, but would have very much liked to, is to spend time near the pyramids and the Sphinx. These are timeless wonders, and just gazing at them makes you introspect. Several tours of Cairo and other cities have been organized for the Indian delegations during the festival. Egypt has been named one of the top 20 tourist attractions in the world. So take advantage of your trip to this enchanting country and visit some of the wonderland that surrounds us. India and Egypt enjoy a historical relationship, a relationship that has deep roots. 
we have been fortunate enough to have strong relations in every sphere. When President Sisi visited India, our leaders agreed upon three pillars of the relationship, political and security cooperation, economic cooperation and collaboration in science and technology, and cultural relations. I think all of these are important in themselves, and the effort has been from both sides to propel the relationship forward and to deepen ties in all three spheres. Therefore, I'm reluctant to single out any one particular sphere of activity between India and Egypt. Rather, I would say that we should move as we are already doing in all these dimensions of our bilateral relationship. The program has been designed to educate, inspire, and motivate people through participation and interaction. We all have the opportunity to renew old friendships and make new and lasting ones. Cultural cooperation is an important dimension of our relations. Uh, India by the Nile supports our efforts to deepen exchanges in the cultural field. The footprint that the festival has come to enjoy makes it evident that there is a great deal of appreciation for the events that are held under the aegis of India by the Nile, as well as for Indian culture and art. As with other cultural events and activities that we organize in Egypt, India by the Nile helps in promoting better understanding among our peoples and in enlightening them about each other's culture. India by the Nile Festival 2019 is a tremendous opportunity to acquire multi-experience through workshops and sessions about making difference through leadership and action. This also works as an exchange of knowledge, merging different cultures and civilizations. I would like to convey my greetings and good wishes to the people of Egypt. This year, we are observing the 150th birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi stood for peace, truth, nonviolence, compassion. He fought against injustice. This birth anniversary of his is an occasion to rededicate ourselves to his ideals and to join hands and strive for a better world. Finally, it's our pleasure to welcome His Excellency Mr. Rahwal Kuali Shiraith, Indian Ambassador to Egypt, and we are looking forward to welcoming the participants in this major event again in Egypt, land of civilization and history. That's it for today's edition of Life on the Road, brought to you by the European Service of Radio Cairo on FM 95.4. From Mohammed Mustafa at the controls and Mona Hosni, have a lovely day. Life on the Road. With Mona Hosni.